is Monday, February the 11th. <laughs> I had to remember that. Okay, so today is, um, I'm making lunch ideas for adults. And so I pack babe's lunch. And so today she has, like, I just did like a pastrami, a pastrami provolone cheese and horseradish wrap. Um, this break, this tortilla is keto friendly, and then this is just some leftovers from last night: mashed cauliflower and broccoli to help hot, tie her over. And I made her like some keto friendly appetizers. Um, and this is stuff: uh, mushrooms and jalapenos. And then this is a um, low carb like dessert that I make. Um, it's like a mousse, and this flavor I made is banana. Two little pickles for a snack. And then for breakfast, I made some egg frittatas um, last Friday, like when I meal prep, and I just freeze them. And then all she has to do is microwave them. And so that's what she'll eat for breakfast. Um, and she usually takes stuff like jerky, parmesan crisp, and we have like hundreds of different dips, but she can't eat that today because she has an appointment. Um, so it is going to be less cheese um, and less like salty meats and stuff or whatever like that except for the pastrami she should be fine today is February 12 2019 it is nine o'clock well eight o'clock in the morning how did I still mess up sitting that time but anyways babe suggested I show you guys what I use to make her lunch the ingredients that I use or whatever so um this is going to be one of her snacks today, the three layer hummus. It's going to be like a special little treat. These are her favorite. I have to hide them from her because she'll eat the whole pot, the whole container. The salsa that we really like. Sour cream, the blue cheese, these eating toast, um, chips made out of beans, and for one of her snacks. For low carb snacks so I eat very very low carbs because of my special diet that I'm on and she was she's been doing keto for the past three months but we're kind of doing like a keto slash low carb like we're just watching carbs okay so we have um, some this goes over here actually so this is gonna be her breakfast last night I made some kind of like green chili um, Baked with eggs, cottage cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, a little bit of like um, a third of a cup of whole wheat flour, um, green chilies, green onion, and some seasonings and stuff. It was delicious. And I'm not gonna, I can't show you, but there go the casserole. It turned out to like a, a, a casserole. You see the, the layers of cheese and all that, or whatever. And then I just topped this, I put like a little bit of plastic wrap on top of that so she can warm it up and then um, this is sour cream and that's the salsa that I showed you guys so and this is the blue cheese so for lunch today um, I made her some jerk oven wings oven grilled wings so let me show y'all if I can hold it up without dropping it and she likes them very crispy like burnt so I had to cook them they've been in the oven for like an hour and so these um of course I think are only like one carb the wings or whatever for the seasoning that I put on there and um there you go so there's six wings and then these were some of her keto friendly appetizers that I made her which is jalapeno poppers um bacon wrap jalapeno poppers in the oven and then stuffed mushrooms and it has like cotta cheese some um cream cheese some Parmesan cheese, so a few things. So just some things to tie her over, get her a little bit of vegetables. This is one of her like I just pack her snacks because she always saying she's hungry. So this is the three layer hummus. So if she wants to eat this before she eats lunch in between her meals, she can. And I gave her some of the Benitos um, snacks. And I think for these, let me give y'all the stack for those chips. Um. For one ounce, which is about 11 chips, which is what that is, it just got kind of crumbly. Um, that's gonna be about 
um, nine carbs, which is really good. Um, and it's four grams of protein in there. So there's no carbs in the hummus. The, um, and then her like little dessert snack that I packed her are her favorite um, almonds, dark chocolate almonds. And um, so, and then I just gave her just about a handful of the pork rinds just in case. But I don't think she's going to make it to the pork rinds today because she has more than enough food. And um, so, yes. So, this is her adult meal for lunch. Um, and if you guys are, like, looking for healthy alternatives to, like, you like chicken, you like chicken wings, put them in the oven. They're just as good. Yes, I have an air fryer, but they're really, really good in the oven. And um, they crisp up, like, they taste like you fried them. So, that's just, like, my hack that I've learned how to just... It just takes a little longer, and you have to have the oven up high enough, but it's worth it. And you can just spice it up how you like, or season it how you like. So, hope you guys have a great um, day. Well, it's not going to be the same day as you see this, but I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is Wednesday, February the 13th, 2018, and I'm coming back with another day of what's in base um, lunch. That I made for her. So, um, these are the products that I use today. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. It's their bacon cheddar ranch dip. And babe likes that a lot. Keto friendly. Um, she loves these truffle marcana almonds. Of course, these. When I don't feel like making her some um, cheese bites, I always keep some in the house. Um, so, got some of those. Low carb keto friendly tortillas. These are only three net carbs, eight grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. And these are not um, low carb friendly, but they are a treat. And I only give her a few of them, and she only gets these once a week. Everything you have to do in moderation. So, over here we have her meals for today. So, this is the last of the. This is the last of the um, egg frittatas that we have left in the freezer, and she wanted those this morning. So, two of those, and they have mushroom, um, spinach, onion, and two different types of cheeses. What I've made here is um, Philly cheesesteak in a bowl, you can see. And it's layered provolone cheese. And then I got her two keto friendly appetizers. Um, I just gave her a couple of those today. Because I don't think she's going to get through this whole bowl of. Because this is a lot of meat and cheese. So um, just, just in case though. We have some um, jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon. These are all oven friendly. And um, two stuffed mushrooms. And then I gave her a low carb tortilla just in case she wants to put her, make like a Philly cheesesteak um, burrito or something. The cheese whisk, and this is the bacon cheddar dip for a snack. And this is, she'll probably eat this um, between breakfast and lunch. And she'll eat this the last part of the day because this will be her ultimate snack that she likes to be happy about. And this is the almonds, and you see I just gave her a few yogurt pretzels. Everything in moderation, so can't like fully restrict yourself and, and expect to be happy. Um, so I've just learned how to do things in moderation so she knows she only gets those once a week. Um, so yeah, so anyways, this is what she's eating today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Everybody, today is February the 14th. 2019 it is um i was about to say it's new year's but it's not new year's it is valentine's day so happy valentine's day um as usual i'm going to show you the what i use any products that i use that i can show you um so the benitos these are really really good and the carbs aren't bad or anything on there um and like five grams of protein four grams of fiber Mexican cheese from our local 
grocery store. This is going to be Summer Babes treat today. This Lily Star chocolate, if you haven't had it, it's delicious. No sugar added. It's sweetened with stevia, so natural sweetener. Um, and it is only for, there's about um, two servings in this. And I didn't even give her half of a serving. I gave her half of one serving. So um, she'll probably, I think it probably like five carbs. Amazing. I have to go back to Trader Joe's and get some more dips. Um... So I gave her the rest of, well, some of this chunky guacamole with Greek yogurt. And I'll just show the stats really quickly. There's only two grams of carbs in there. Um, and it's one gram of fiber, so it's one carb. That's amazing. And it's delicious. I promise. Our salsa, pickles that she's going to have for a snack. And I gave her a little bit of sour cream today. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you what she is eating for lunch. Alrighty, so what she is eating for lunch today is going to be, I kind of just made her an egg scrambler. It has mushrooms, onions, and a little bit of bacon and some sharp cheddar cheese. I just put some up there on top. Um, I didn't feel like shredding it because I get the block cheese if I want to have shredded cheese so you don't have any of that gunk on there. Um, and so... That's what she's going to have for breakfast. I know some people don't make breakfast <laughs> for the people when they're making their lunches or whatever. Oh gosh, my hands are so ashy when they're making their, um, okay, I really can't close this on camera. When they're making their, for their lunch, but I make her breakfast because if not, she'll be hungry and she'll snack more. So I try to limit her snack. -ish. Um, this is the three layer hummus that I had showed you guys earlier in the week. Um, and it's just like a little bit left. So I just gave her the rest of that. Um, so that's what she'll have. And I'm going to have those with those blue chips right there. That's one serving. Um, she probably won't eat all of those to be completely honest. She probably won't. Um, because she won't have like enough pumice to chip ratio so she'll probably save some of these for her to eat for her lunch for lunch today we have that guilt-free guacamole from trader joe's i put a little bit of this salsa just like a tablespoon and just literally a teaspoon of that sour cream because she really doesn't need it because she has some cheese and she has that guacamole and this is cold um i did that purposely so it don't have to be reheated twice and this is um basically this thing i came up with was fajita in a bowl and um it's just a little bit of beans like there probably is like six carbs of beans in there at the bottom um, pinto beans and it's layered with i made my own fajita seasoning and then i put of course peppers and onions and all that good stuff and i just put a little bit of that mexican cheese on top so she just she can just nuke that in the oven in the refrigerator in the microwave for a few minutes and then she will have um some gooey gooeyness. I'm not gonna attempt to close that on camera because I just I don't feel like failing their life again. For her snack today, um her afternoon snack or however she chooses to do it, we do recycle these for anybody who's wondering about us using these, we we recycle these. So, um, I gave her three of those little mini, um, snack, snack on pickles from Velastic. And then this is this lily chocolate. Like I said, I just gave her half of a serving and it, this is the almond flavor, um, dark chocolate. And she really likes dark chocolate. And so it's like a treat, but it's without all the guilt. So that is what she is having today for breakfast, lunch, and snack. Um, thank you guys for watching. Good morning, guys. It is February the 15th, 2019. I am horrible at dates. So I'm just going to show you really quickly because um, Babe didn't tell me until last minute, but she was leaving early today because she has a meeting this evening um, for work. So anyways, um, this is the products that I'm using today. Um, the Tzatziki Creamy Sauce from Trader Joe's. This is really, really good stats. I showed them in our... Um, our haul cheese bites you know these are no carbs and everything so 
some ranch dip, bacon ranch dip, really, really good carb, um, really, really good, um, stats too. And then these, that's like her little snack treat. These are the green bean, um, the mango chili lime. Okay. All right. And for breakfast, I have, I made some, um, keto monkey bread last night and it has well yesterday evening it has mozzarella cheese in it and um almond flour coconut flour um cinnamon um this sugar substitute right here it's really good it tastes just like a real thing um what else it has in there eggs butter you know keto friendly things um, this is her going to be her snack. Um, it is the bacon, um, ranch, cheddar ranch dip right here. And eat those with some cheese curds, some cheese bites. And for lunch, I have her, um, some lamb, so gyro meat, um, or gyro or gyro, or so many people call it different things. Um, so this is just some lamb that I grilled up and then I did some grilled onions with garlic for the side for her. And then just the, the really good tzatziki sauce, keto friendly tzatziki sauce. And this is some low carb um, paleo granola. She doesn't really do keto full time, so kind of paleo more, more of the time. So. Um, this is some paleo yogurt, so it's no grains in it. And then these are some of those little green bean bites. So that'll be her snack for today. So I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Friday. It won't be Friday when you guys are seeing this, but <laughs> it's Friday somewhere. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.